let's set up the loan calculator and then we'll use the function in order to make the calculations within sheets so this is a loan payment calculator and we need a few values uh, so the first value is going to be the principal then the periods so the number of periods that we're going to be making the payments so these can be months so each month what we're going to be paying and then the rate that we've got for the loan and we can also have a future value and then lastly is going to be the payment amount that we need to make for each one of the payment periods so we're going to have a payment period so let's do 60 payment periods we'll start out with a principal loan amount of fifty thousand dollars so if you're buying a car you want to pay it over 60 months so it's about five years and let's say you've got a rate of 2.25 percent for the loan and at the end of the loan you want to have it fully paid off so set that amount to zero let's make the calculation about what each one of the payments is going to be we're going to use the function that's going to be PMT and this is a periodic payment for an annuity investment and it's going to require some arguments and the first argument that it's going to require, you can find out more about the arguments. So the first one is going to be the rate, then the number of periods, the present value, and then optional for future value and ending value. So selecting the rate, and then comma, separate out the arguments with the periods. And then next, let's get the principal amount. And we can hit enter here, and this is going to calculate out the number of the amount that we have to do for the payments to adjust the interest rate for months so that would be 12 months per year so there's going to be 12 months per year so that comes out to 881 dollars per month over a period of six, 60 months in order to make the full payment and to return back a value of zero having it paid off in full if we want to have a future value that's still sitting there, that's an amount owing. So let's say we want to have $10,000 that's still owing. We can add in the future value. And that would be coming from cell D3. So that would reduce our payment amount to $724 per month. And we'd retain a future value that we'd have to pay off of $10,000 at the end of this.